Nowadays, uh, we have a very complex uh, scenario on the treatment of nosmo cell lung cancer in the metastatic setting because we have multiple options. The first option is uh, the immunotherapy pembrolizumab single agent for patients uh, with PDL1 more than 50%. And uh, the update survival of this kind uh, of patients uh, is about uh, 30 months, so it is quite a huge uh, survival considering that before we had just 12 months. But uh, in 2018, uh, the true novelty is uh, the possibility to combine chemotherapy plus uh, immunotherapy. This is the case of the Keynote 189, which is a randomized clinical trials comparing chemotherapy alone over chemotherapy plus uh, immunotherapy. And uh, this study showed uh, an increase in terms of overall survival and progression-free survival, which is consistent across uh, all the subgroups. Other trials uh, with atezolizumab, one was uh, with uh, carbo, pemetrex, and atezolizumab, showed uh, an increase in terms of progression-free survival and a trend in favor of overall survival. And this is the twin trial of the Keynote 189 uh, with the same backbone of chemotherapy. F uh, and third, uh, again, uh, in a non squamous histology, we have also the Empower 150, which is the combination of carboplatin, uh, um, taxol, bevacizumab, and atezolizumab. Again, the trial is positive in terms of progression-free survival and in terms of overall survival. And in my opinion, the most important point of this trial is that uh, also EGFR and alkymutated patients were included into the trial. Trial. and this is the first evidence that this kind of patients can be treated with immunotherapy when combined with chemotherapy and in particular also bevacizumab. Not only for uh, uh, non-squamous histology, but there is also another trial in squamous histology, which is the Keynote 407, combining carbotaxel or napacritaxel to uh, pembrolizumab again and uh, at the interim analysis it showed uh, again uh, an increase in terms of progression-free survival and overall survival. So great news to combine chemotherapy plus immunotherapy.